Good morning, everyone. I am up here in the foothills of the mountains in North Georgia today. It doesn't really look like late October up here like I was hoping it would, but it is. And uh, leaves are kind of starting to turn, but it's been a weird fall. We've gotten so much rain, I think it's kind of pushing back the, uh, it's kind of pushing back the color changing until later in the fall, I think. But anyways, uh, I mostly just wanted to come up here and day cruise today and see what I can turn up. I already actually found a snake that you guys are gonna see here in a second. Um, before I even ran an intro. So anyways, the goal today is to just drive around, flip a few things, and hope stuff will be crossing the road. So anyways, I'm going to cut to that snake I just found, and I will see you guys then. What is up, everyone? I am out here in the mountains today, and I hadn't even had time to run an intro. I was just pulling into the area I'm going to be harping today, and first snake of the day, a little rat snake. At any rate, this is a pretty busy stretch of road, so I'm probably going to run an intro after this, and I'll show that before I show you this. But I'm going to move this guy off the road, and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Flip a couple rocks here and see if anything's hanging out. Fall is not the best time to flip here, so I'm not really counting on seeing much, but I figured I'd record in the event that I'm wrong about that. Long-tailed salamander. This is a long-tailed salamander. These guys are pretty cool because they have a pretty limited range in Georgia, only up here in the northwestern corner. They are really common in this general area, so this is uh, not a particularly exciting find, but it's a species I don't see a lot, so pretty cool. Oh, anyways, I'm just going to put this guy back under his rock and keep flipping. Oh, baby milk. Holy crap. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. Holy crap, this is really one of the things I was hoping to see today. Whoa, but not expecting at all. That is awesome. I'm shaking, that is so cool. This is the first baby milk snake I've ever found in Georgia. Or first neonate at least, I've seen yearlings, but that's nuts. I cannot believe I got that on film too. I'm glad I actually decided to record this stuff. All right, I'm gonna flip the rest of this stuff here and then I'm gonna give you guys a better look at that milk before I let him go. Of course, the one rock I don't record has a ring neck under it. First one of these guys for the day. I actually found a milk snake before a ring neck today. Normally this area is absolutely loaded with ring necks, so not too much of a surprise to see this guy, but definitely weird to see a milk first. All right, guys, well, this guy and the ring neck were the only snakes at this spot, and I can't really complain about that, but you kind of see what I mean about fall flipping isn't as good. Uh, flipping this same spot in the springtime reveals normally five or ten ring necks at least, and it isn't uncommon to see milks here either, so. Either way, I am super stoked we flipped this little guy, my first baby milk snake from North Georgia, and it's a pretty nice one. Not as good as they can come for sure, but definitely nice. Pretty good color, really clean bands. Either way pretty great start to the day in video if you ask me. Anyways, I'm going to let this guy go after a couple of camera photos and keep hitting some other spots. I've got a couple more flip spots and then uh, once it warms up, I'm going to cruise some more. So This guy actually looks more colorful in the sun than he does in the shade, which is normally the opposite with Lampropeltis. But anyways, I'm just shooting this guy real quick with my DSLR and then I'm going to let him go. Alrighty, let's put this little beauty back under the rock. Go, buddy. Awesome. Let's see what else we can turn up. There's another long tail with a short tail. Something chopped this guy's tail a little bit short. Check this guy out. Huge northern slimy salamander. Here he is fully stretched out. That's impressive. Anyways, I flipped him under this little board right here, so I'm just gonna let him go back under it. I haven't flipped this one yet, so we'll see if there's anything underneath it. These are like really awful particle board that sucks. Nothing. 
Here's a nice salamander double flip. There's a nice looking long tail, really good looking long tail right there. And then a newt eft. Not the most colorful looking eft, but that is a stellar little long tail salamander. Beautiful. Anyways, I'm just gonna put these guys thingy back down on top of them. Well, it actually looks a little more fall-like here in the creek. And there's a couple of good looking logs, so probably flip these real quick. No salamanders, under that one at least. Look at this silly guy, crawling up the road. I thought it was a lizard or something, but no, little baby black racer. How's it going, buddy? Oh, he's grumpy. Oh, well, we're gonna be like this, huh? You're a brave little guy. You have the power to run away, but instead you stand and fight. That's probably not gonna get you very far in this world, brother, when everything can eat you because you're an eight inch long, harmless snake. Anyways, I'm gonna move this guy off the road and keep moving. I've been driving around for a while now, and this is only the second snake I've seen alive on the road. A lot of dead stuff. Uh, mostly looks like it was hit yesterday, though, so. Since you are going up the road, I'm assuming, well, I'm just gonna take a guess and put you off the road either way, so. Stay away from the road, brother. Ugh, he pooped on me. All right, guys, it's starting to get to be about sunset. The last couple of hours and really all day road cruising has been kind of unproductive, unfortunately. But uh, I'm hoping that tonight will be a little bit better. Uh, we've got pretty warm temps tonight compared to the last couple of nights, hopefully. I'm really hoping the temp will hold as much as I'm thinking it's going to. Well, I lost some kind of snake off the road a minute ago, and uh, this is the first live snake that I've actually managed to get video of. Nice little decays brown snake. We've seen plenty of these guys recently, so just gonna escort them off the road. This one is pretty clean looking though. Got a nice defined stripe down there on the back end, but either way, nice brown snake to start off the night and hopefully not the last thing we'll see. Well guys, the snakes apparently did not agree with me that it seemed like a good night for them to crawl. Um, to be fair, last night I only saw one snake. It was the one pygmy you saw at the end of the last video. This is actually the next day. Um, but uh, yeah, just the one brown snake, unfortunately. It did cool off really fast. It's already 64 um, and it's getting, it's definitely getting a little late in the season for stuff to be out at night. So anyways, I'm currently headed home. I'm gonna keep an eye on the road on the way though. And if I see anything, I'll stop. Another Storaria to save the day. This time a little red-bellied snake. Oh, and a moth. Anyways, both Storaria tonight. Uh, these guys are obviously quite common this time of year. This guy is flicking his tongue weird. But anyways, at least we got another snake. I'm gonna keep moving and uh, hopefully there will be more stuff out, but I'm not gonna count on it. I'm gonna do something a little bit different on the channel today and we're gonna plug some merchandise. These are calendars with Bob's incredible photography. He's been doing this for nine years, selling these calendars. So if you're looking for a fantastic Christmas gift, you just want a calendar for 2021, pick one of these calendars up. Bob is donating all of the profits to charity. For the past nine years, he's done this. And he's done a lot of great work over the years with these calendars, and we're hoping to continue that in 2021. Um, and I'd love to get you guys involved in it. So I'm gonna turn it over to Bob and let him explain a little bit about his calendars. So thanks Noah for doing this. As Noah said, I've been doing this for nine years. I donate every cent of profit to some sort of wildlife conservation this year. It's gonna be the Rainforest Trust like the past few years. I have 12 choices. If you check out my Etsy shop, Etsy, dot com slash shop slash fast in nature i believe noah's going to put it in the description and if you use noah's coupon noah n-o-a-h-5 as a coupon you're going to get five dollars off these are 25 bucks you'll get them for 20 dollars. they make a great gift i also have this is africa from my time in africa and i have tropical inverts so i try and cover all the bases they're they're really they're quality made that was a nice king snake, dude. Go back to that yeah. one. Show the viewers what they really want to see here. <laughs> That's an eastern king from the New Jersey Pine Barrens. So I get that the glare is kind of bad here, but I'm just going to thumb through this one a little bit just so you guys can see. Bob is an incredibly talented photographer, obviously, and uh, he's been doing this for a long time. Puts a lot of heart and a lot of work into it. He flew down here all the way from Pennsylvania to promote these calendars, guys. So if you guys can go out, purchase one of these if you can afford it, if you can't, support it, share the calendars, share this video, and uh, just uh, send it to people you know that might want calendars, and we'll get these calendars out to everyone we can, and uh, hopefully Bob will be able to do some great work with his donations this year too. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. 
I know I haven't done anything like this before on my channel, but this is for a good cause, so I have no issue with it whatsoever, and I would be incredibly appreciative if you guys supported this movement. So if you guys order these by December 10th, Bob says that he can guarantee you will have them by Christmas. So December 10th to get them by Christmas. And don't forget, coupon code NOAH5, NOAH5. right, on Bob's Etsy shop. I'm going to put all the links to that, and I'm going to put the coupon name, if you forget, in the description. So check it out. Good afternoon everyone, it is the next day. Yesterday was a pretty good day overall, but it ended poorly with a really slow night. We only saw two living snakes last night, unfortunately. And uh, I kind of attribute that to it cooling off faster than it was supposed to, and I was further north than I usually road cruise. So hopefully that's not an indicator of how today is gonna go. I'm going to flip a couple things right now and then road cruise afterwards. So we'll see how this goes. All right, last couple times I've hit this spot, it's been pretty good. Got a king snake a couple of weeks ago here under this piece, so let's see if there's anybody today. Oh, yep, in fire ants. Jesus, get out of those. Holy crap. I'm trying to get those fire ants off you, bud. What are you doing sitting in those? Chill out. Chill. I'm pretty sure this is the female that we initially captured. They've got one on your head, dude. Pretty sure this is the female we initially captured back in May of 2018 and have seen a couple of times this year. She's looking pretty good. She definitely, God, I know these hurt, Bug. Just trying to get them off you. You were sitting in them. I don't know if she was right on the edge of them and I just disturbed them and made, them, made it worse or what, but dang. Anyways, this definitely looks like that same girl. Sorry, just trying to get these ants off of you. She's pretty easy to identify because she's almost solid black. Barely has any white on her at all. Just trying to make sure I've got all the ants because those scales definitely protect her a lot, but maybe not completely. Anyways, pretty cool. She's deep in shed, so I'm just gonna put her back under there and let her continue. Actually, I might put her under another piece because that one's got so many ants under it. But either way, awesome. Nice way to start the day. I feel so bad for this girl. I'm gonna flip this and uh, if there's nothing under it, I'm gonna put her under this one because uh, the amount of fire ants under her piece, so. There's ants under this one too, not as many though. They'll definitely be better off, I think. All right, definitely nice to capture this girl at least once in the fall and see that she had a good summer. Regained all of her weight from having babies, basically. She's super healthy again. Uh, just covered in mud right now and about to shed, so not looking the best, but it's a healthy snake still, so awesome to see. So since it's hot right now and I just moved these around a little bit, I wasn't expecting there to be anything, but I flip it and there's another king snake. This one is new. Come here. Holy crap, this is beautiful. Come here, come here. Got a burrow. I'm going to pull them out real quick. So I got this one out and I went and reflipped this girl just so you can see them side by side. These are currently considered, based on the phenotype, basically the physical traits, to be two different species. This is a, a pure Eastern king snake. I mean, there's no black king snake about that one. And this one is basically a pure black king snake. There's very little Eastern king snake about it other than the location. That begs the question, are these both Eastern king snakes? And this one's just solid black. I've only seen this one individual here that's solid black. It doesn't seem like all of them are like that. Anyways, I'm gonna put this bigger girl back under her piece of cover and give you a better look at this little one. I cannot believe this just happened. Another new king for this spot. This is the fourth individual I've found here and the second one today. Ah, a bee, go away. What on earth, dude? Bro. Bro, God. Anyways, I was trying to show this guy to you guys one more time before I got rudely interrupted by that flying insect. Ow. Brother. Brother. I love this snake. Not gonna lie. He's absolutely stunning. One of my favorite kings of the year so far, for sure. There's just nothing quite like uh, freshly shed. I mean, this guy is relatively freshly shed. You can tell because of how glistening he is. It's just unreal. Anyways, I consider this to be a probably solid 7 or 8 out of 10 Eastern King Snake. Absolutely stunning. The face is perfect. 
it's got nice kind of white creamy yellow but it mostly kind of comes off white in the shade it looks a little more yellow in the sun but just a stunning snake all around i cannot believe he was under that hot piece of tin i i guess he was actively foraging under there going in and out of that rodent burrow that he tried to escape down which good on him get him a meal before the end of the year i'm gonna put him right back there and let him go back down that rodent burrow and i guess i'm gonna go road cruise for a little bit it really is gonna have a hard time going uphill from here today so but i'm gonna try we're gonna go see what else we can turn up so i double checked and this is in fact a boy so that makes three boys and one girl at this spot and it's a young boy so if you remember the other two males that i found at this spot have been absolutely titanic especially for this area. They look more like South Georgia Kings, which tend to be a lot bigger. Anyways, I'm gonna put this guy under his tent. Go buddy. There you go. This little part here on the end is actually in the shade, which kind of makes sense why he was hanging out there. All right guys, so I'm here at the house. It's been a couple days since you saw me last. It's been brutally slow, but I came out here to the power line cut to lay out some new boards and I turned one over that I'd never found anything under besides maybe like some earth snakes and stuff. And there's a baby king snake. That's in the sea too. Barely moved. I needed this so bad. I went to get tires today for my car because they're old and kind of uh, a little bit leaky. And I found two dead king snakes on my way to get tires. So this makes, I mean, it doesn't make it better, but I mean, seeing a juvenile king snake, signs of reproduction, always good to see, especially here at my own home. I mean, this is my favorite snake species to find here and to find another stunning individual this year. I think this is my fifth one of the season here at the house. I just can't believe it. So the last time you guys would have seen me, I flipped a couple of king snakes out at one of my more reliable spots. And uh, ever since then, it's just been brutally miserable. I haven't seen anything. I spent this morning getting tires, so I didn't. Today was the first day in a long time I haven't been out, specifically herping at least. And I saw two dead king snakes on my way to get tires. So when I got home, I was like, ah, I'll work on the flip sides here at the house. I'll try to improve them a little bit and throw some boards out. And while I was at it, I just casually flipped over one of the boards and found that king snake. And since then, I flipped everything else. Haven't seen anything. I flipped all this stuff yesterday. There was nothing under it. And of course today, there's just randomly a king snake when I wasn't recording. It is a very damp and rainy night tonight. Flipped that king snake a couple hours ago, went and watched the football game with my grandparents, and currently headed home. Me and my dad found this guy. Nice little eastern garter snake on the road. We're gonna move this guy off the road. I might be doing some salamandering tonight once we get home, so maybe there'll be some more snakes out too. Who knows? All right, everyone. I know this video has been kind of all over the place. Uh, scattered, uh, anecdotes and various random finds over the last day or so but i'm currently heading out to walk around in the rain it's uh nice and warm tonight as you saw there was a garter snake on the road on the way home um i got a nice rain front that came through and rained most of the day after i found that king snake that actually started sprinkling on me while i was taking pictures but uh Anyways, I'm hoping there will be some salamanders out tonight just to kind of round out this video. So I'm going to head down to the road and see what all's crawling around. So I'm still on my driveway. Mailbox is down there. And here is exactly what I was hoping we'd see. This is a beautiful adult marbled salamander. As I've said a couple times over the last couple of videos, these guys are going to become increasingly common as we head towards the late fall months. This guy's actually got, he's got a frowny face on the back of his head lovely anyways this thing is beautiful as always these are one of the most visually striking salamanders we have in the u.s love that black and white contrast and uh this one is no exception nice looking salamander we're probably going to see some more of these tonight so i'm just going to push this guy off my driveway i don't think anyone else will be coming up this road hopefully so i'm going to move him off into the woods and keep hiking see what else turns up here is herp number two and species number two for the night a little metamorph copes gray tree frog this guy's real tiny, and uh, they hatch out, or they metamorph much tinier than this, so he's got a little bit of growth on him. But anyways, the next species of the night, we see tons of these guys, uh, especially in the warmer months, so I'm just going to escort him off the road. The rain has kind of shifted into more of a gentle mist, which I actually prefer because it doesn't soak me while I'm walking around. 
Look at this guy. Super strange looking frog. I think this is a green frog. He's got a bit of an, oh, no, no, no. No, I was trying to explain why you are what you are. Holy crap, look at him go. I think this is actually a green frog. I can't really tell. It's either a green frog or a bullfrog, but he's got a kind of weird dorsolateral fold, which uh, this is how you tell these apart from uh, bullfrogs or vice versa, depending on which this is. But you can kind of see a faint fold right there, but I can't tell if that's just coincidental or not. His face looks more like a bullfrog, but I'm not really sure which one this is. Anyways, ambiguous ranid. And our next species of the night is something that we are going to be seeing many more of over the winter, as my longtime viewers certainly know. This is a four-toed salamander, one of the most common species here at the house, and really early to see these guys. Normally they come out pretty heavy in the late fall and early winter, but pretty cool to see one this early in the season. These are a really unique plethodonid. They're the only one in their genus of Hemidactylium, and they've got beautiful little speckled black and white bellies and only four toes on their feet. So look at that slow, deliberate movement. I love it. One of my favorite species to see for sure, and I'm lucky enough to have these guys by the dozen here, right at the base of my driveway. This is not a snake, like I thought it was initially. There's plenty of gigantic worms that come out and crawl around in the rain here, as I'm sure many of you guys have experienced similar things when it rains. These guys come out in droves, just like the salamanders, but not a snake. I thought it was a snake when I saw it flopping in the road. All right, guys, check this out. We've got our next marbled salamander of the night right here, and a little bit up the road it is our next four-toed of the night. This guy's just hanging out with the setup. And just a little bit past where I talked to you guys last, big marbled salamander, number three. These are so awesome, and I'm so fortunate to have these guys right here, basically at the foot of, at the foot of my, really, in my yard, basically. Oh, he's going. Anyways, I'm gonna help that guy cross. All right, we've got another frog right here. This one is definitely a green frog. See, he's got this super pronounced fold right there that runs along his body, like, left to right. But, nice, green frog. Ne a new species for the night. I'm gonna assume that other one was a bullfrog just because he had such a faded or unpronounced uh, dorsolateral fold. So I'm going to assume that other one was a bullfrog, and this is definitely a green frog this time. All right, we've got a couple things coming up that look like salamanders. This one, nice. Another marbled salamander. This is probably the biggest one yet. Nice meaty head on this guy. Awesome. Love to see it. If you aren't super familiar with marbled salamanders, they can actually slime you very similarly to slimy salamanders. So try to minimize touching them, not only because it's not good for salamanders to be touched uh, excessively, but they can also give you a nasty, sticky secretion that's annoying and impossible to get off your hands. And here's another one. As predicted, these are definitely the most common salamander of the night so far. Very nice. All right, we've got a little frog here, and this is a little northern cricket frog. I believe it's a northern. I'm gonna check and uh, make sure that it's not a southern. We could potentially have both species here, but anyways, cricket frog. These guys are really common, obviously, during the warmer months all over any type, any type of wetland. They're generally covering the edges of it, so pretty common, but we don't see too many of them here on the road, so kind of interesting is another little frog, and this one is actually an upland chorus frog. Very cool. This is not a species we see a lot this time of year. These guys are late winter, early, early spring breeders, and they have an explosive window where they're absolutely everywhere that usually happens around mid-January, so definitely a treat to see in October. I'm gonna escort this guy off the road, keep moving. I'm impressed that there have not been many DOR marbles tonight. Looks like all of them have had decent luck crossing safely. And I'm gonna help this guy too. Plenty of salamanders out tonight. Love it. This guy's got a kind of cool, modely, dirty pattern to him, which is different from a lot of the ones we've seen so far tonight. Good looking salamander. Oh, there he goes. They're not very efficient at moving, but it is kind of funny to watch them scurry away like that. <laughs> Look at him go. Go on. Finish your journey. Okay. Oh, there he goes. 
<laughs> so I actually just saw a DOR red salamander, which is really unfortunate, but here's our next frog of the night, a spring peeper. As their name implies, these guys are also explosive uh, late winter, early spring breeders. They tend to breed a little bit later than the upland chorus frogs though, so you'll hear these guys calling into February, March, and even sometimes April. Anyways, first spring peeper of the night. Good diversity so far, definitely racking up the numbers of species, so let's see if we can keep it going. There's a frog hopping straight towards me, and it is another upland chorus frog. Beautiful. Love these guys. I really love chorus frogs. The whole genus of Sudacris is one of my favorites. Mostly because when you hear these guys calling, you know that warmer weather is coming in the winter. Unfortunately, we're on the other end of winter still, and warmer weather will not be coming. It's going to only cool off from here until about January, so... Either way, it's still nice to see these guys. Alright, we've got a big salamander right here. Oh, two of them. There's actually a spotted, or a marbled, and a slimy right here side by side. That is awesome. Here's the marbled, and here's the slimy. This is the first slimy of the night, new species for the list. Obviously, we see plenty of these guys flipping logs and uh, crossing the road this time of year, so decent find. I'm gonna move them off the road and get that marble too. That was a neat little double. Only a little bit further up the road, we've got our next marble. This one's chunky and beautiful. Really good, clean white on this guy. Awesome. It's a good looking one. So some of you might be wondering, why am I walking around in the rain when I could be driving? And the short answer is, it's more fun. The long answer is, it's also better for the animals. Here's a little slimy salamander, because I don't have to worry about unintentionally running any over. Because of how small these things can be, they can be really hard to see from the car. This is a gorgeous slimy though, look at that. Awesome. He's going, he's going, keep going, keep going. Gently nudge him with my foot, go on. And he is out of here. There is a very big salamander up ahead. Let's see what this guy is. Oh yes, that's exactly what I was hoping that was. Very nice. October spotted salamander. Another explosive spring breeding species out here crawling around on this lovely late October night. I think Halloween's a little bit later this week to give you a sense of what time of year it is. And these are species we typically don't start seeing in mass, at least, until after New Year's. I mean, you'll get them uh, occasionally on any random warmish winter night. But awesome to see these guys this early in the year. Super cool. Anyways, beautiful adult spotted salamander. This might end up being the last thing for the night. We'll see. Whoa! Normally, you don't even have to pick them up. You just touch them and they freak out and run off the road on their own. Go on, keep moving. <laughs> so I just counted it up and we hit 10 species in roughly 30 minutes. That is insane. You have to appreciate the diversity of amphibians we have here in the southeast. And more importantly, uh, that's only the living species. I also saw a DOR red salamander and there are a couple of other common species of amphibian that I would have expected to see tonight that we didn't. So. I don't think it would be a stretch to say that 15 species would be a pretty typical night here. I think tonight was a little bit on the slow side even. There's a worm. Oh, 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 is that a frog or a cricket? It's a cricket. Anyways, like I was saying, I think tonight was a little bit on the slow side. It's still super early in the fall and it's super warm. Normally the cooler nights are a little better when it starts getting down until maybe the low 50s. But anyways, just a quick little walkabout tonight to wrap up this video. I know it's kind of been all over the place, but I'm going to spend the whole day tomorrow herping, and I'm hoping that it'll be a little more productive than today. I mean, today was great, but it was kind of, a lot of it was incidental. I didn't really intend to hurt much today. It just kind of happened. So anyways, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.